Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations the patreon and the venmo family we working now shout out to main events got this press release from them kovalev said some interesting things i kind of want to go over that he has a new situation his fight with shabransky has been elevated to a title fight and kovalev says and i quote right now god has blessed me and given me the opportunity to get back to this level maybe in the future we could do unification fights between every champion in every division there must be one champion I follow this goal and right now I'm working on it. He says, I worked hard by myself, but with Abra, who's his new trainer, these workouts are different dosages, intervals. If today we're working very hard, the next day is a little bit lighter, working on my style. When I work myself, I work hard every day. I didn't give a rest to my body, it wasn't good. We're working on my strengths, what I could do the best. We are working on my body, my style and what I could do much better. He goes on to say, I'm very glad to be working with Abra. We understand each other, we speak the same language. It's the most important thing. I understand what he wants. If he says something about an exercise and I don't agree, we discuss it and we find compromise, some solutions. It almost never happening because what he's giving me, I understand it can help me. We are the same mentally, I understand where we go for what and why. I feel very comfortable to work with him, very happy. He has control of my training camps and conditioning for the fight. Let me show you November 25th, the real crusher Kovalev. I've changed a lot of things. I've deleted a lot of mistakes. It's time for change. Now, my thing is this, it all sounds good, but you gotta read between the lines with certain things. And Kovalev, I'm really anxious for this fight, November 25th. I want to see how Kovalev looks, to be honest, because a lot of what John David Jackson says, I mean, obviously I can't corroborate the whole thing, but um, like as far as like drinking and stuff like that, and if John David Jackson hurt him to the body, even though it does look like he's susceptible to the body, but you got to read what people are saying. He's saying, it's just weird to me. He's saying, oh, I like my new trainer, who sounds like a good trainer. He trains an Olympic gold medalist. So the Arbor dude sounds on point. He says, he speaks. we speak the same language. That's the most important thing. So if that was the most important thing, I mean, to me, that's a, a built-in conflict of interest from the jump. And you know John David Jackson couldn't fulfill that end of the bargain because he's American. He doesn't speak Russian. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why were you working with him for several years? That makes me question things. And it, it looks like, to me, Kovalev is kind of looking to blame somebody, right? And he's saying, oh, training's going good. We we do a hard day and I was training myself. Like little, it's just, it feels like there's no accountability on Kovalev's behalf. He said, it, he said I was training by myself. So <laughs> you're just paying somebody who can't speak your language, who you don't get along with, and you're training yourself and you were paying paying them to be in your corner, that doesn't make sense to me. You know what I mean? And then, you, like I said, you gotta read between the, the lines. He, he's saying, like I said, I work hard by myself. These are different dosages. Before I work hard every day, I didn't give myself, my body a chance to rest, it wasn't good. So that sounds like overtraining, which he says he did in the first Andre Ward fight, but then the second fight, he says, no, no, I didn't overtrain in the second fight. So to me, it still seems all over the place for Kovalev, and I'm really curious to see if he's gonna show up as the same fighter. And even, even like I said, listen to, to what he's saying. He says, if he says something about an exercise and I don't agree, we discuss it and we find compromise, some solutions. You know what I mean? So that that's a very telling statement to me because I'm not saying if a trainer says, oh, climb the roof of this building and jump off 
and it'll help you prepare for the fight you should do it i'm not saying nothing like within reason but if he says something about an exercise and i don't agree we discuss it and we find compromise some solutions i mean why are you putting people in place if you don't agree with their methods you know what i'm saying i don't know but the fighters i've been around and like gyms that i've seen like very close like let's say andre ward virgil hunter there's a mutual understanding virgil hunter has been working with with ward since he was a kid and stuff so there's a mutual respect and i'm not saying every single thing virgil hunter suggests andre ward's like yeah let's, let's do it but i've been in, in in ward's gym when it was just us and virgil hunter and ward training and virgil will say hey practice this x y and z and it, do it like this he's like throw the hook slip down you know what i'm saying he's, he's giving them the instruction and war's like always up to try it even if he thinks his way is better you know what i mean like to me that just for me it seems like what's the point of having a trainer if you have to come to compromises and solutions and you don't trust their authority their methods their direction so anyway i'm looking forward to this the people who are saying that this is an easy win for Kovalev. I don't. I don't think that. I think this could. I think we could see a, a more vulnerable Kovalev. Like some people are counting Shabransky out. I seen him uh, face to face. Shabransky's pretty big. He's learned hopefully from his Sullivan Barrera loss. He's since um, also sparred with Canelo. I'm sure that's a great world class experience. Even though Canelo's a little bit smaller, but he's still a skilled fighter. So I think this could be a real good fight, a sleeper fight. Let me know if you think Kovalev is mentally the same. Mentally the same. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.